Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my first day in the life of a medical student vlog. This is one of the days of the week I'm always super productive as I've got both microbiology and anatomy classes on the same day. Diaries of the sufferings of a medical student. Today I'll be taking you on a day in the life of a medical student in Russia. Of course, quarantine edition as we're all at home studying from home. On this very regular day, my Apple Watch first tries to wake me at 1 a.m. As I've set the alarm because I've got a lot of studying to do, I decided to ignore its cries for a while but after the third try and fully knowing that it won't stop, I decided to force myself out of my beautifully laid bed thanks to my roommate for the bed sheet. After blaming myself for choosing this path of medicine as I'm deprived of sleep every weekdays, I reach out for my journal and then try to draft my plans and to-dos for the day. I shall love to do this every morning which helps me to get a grab of my whole day. After this is done, I'm already half awake, I get out of my bed and immediately make my bed because discipline starts from the little things we incorporate into our lives and eventually help us to build good habits. I then head over to the boys washroom in the hostel to clean my face up cause if I meet Evelyn with this face, she might reconsider the decision she made 3 years ago. On my way to the washroom, I meet this guy who always makes jokes about my channel. After the moment of laughter, I eventually got my face cleaned up. When I was done, I decided to start studying immediately and because I planned to record a study with me, I changed my clothes as a sign of respect to my study buddies. I got some snacks from the refrigerator, arranged my study table a bit, set up my phone as a camera and then I start studying. I started using the Pomodoro technique which is that I do nothing else but study for an amount of time, straight after which I strictly get a little break and then return to studying. Today I started by studying the anatomy of the sense organs which I will eventually answer in class later that day. The way it works in Russia is that we study before the class and our teachers ask everyone questions based on the topic and we get marks for every class which makes it a little bit challenging in Russia as we have to study to answer every single day of school. My best study technique is the active recall method where I always ask myself questions while I'm studying and trying to understand the concept rather than cramming it all in as we students attempted to do it every time. After the first study period, I decided to read this fiction book during the break. I must say that reading fiction has really been a game changer for me to relieve stress during breaks or before sleeping and also improve my reading skills and ultimately my vocabulary. After studying for about 4 hours with breaks in between, I was already losing my concentration and so as I was done with what I needed to study, I fell flat to my bed fully exhausted. By now it's about 6am in the morning and so I decided to take a little 10 minute nap which eventually led to about 1 hour 30 minutes of sweet sleep. I must tell you these early morning sleeps are really really underrated. After I get up and head over to Evelyn's room for some motivation to revise and we ask each other some questions too. When I return to my room, this is about 7am and I decide to do my morning devotion and sweetly today I'm starting the book of Philippians and as I'm recording with my phone, I was forced to using my actual bible for the devotion. Normally I would use the bible app and do some other plans but all those were done behind the camera. After the devotion, I head over to clean my face once again and also brush my teeth. At about 11 am, I start studying again for my anatomy class by 1 pm and funnily enough, some of the things I studied in the morning are now looking like aliens to me and I wondered if I ever read that part at all. But as a medical student, this is normal as it is to me and again, I start studying and preparing myself fully for the class. At this point, the period before the anatomy class was a biochemistry lecture and trust me, during this quarantine, I've learned to understand that biochemistry is read and spoken in Greek language which was not for me. Well, I joined the lecture during which I continued to read my fiction. You know, I really can't be bothered now and most times I love to watch videos and study biochemistry on my own. During the lecture, I made this ever delicious plate of noodles which I took with coffee and biscuit after. Oh, what a nice treat before the moments of fear and trembling during the answering sessions in anatomy class. Immediately after I finished my food, I cleaned my place because the 2 minute rule is one solid foundation of productivity which is that if there is anything you need to do that will take you 2 minutes or less, then you should do it right away. Now just before the anatomy class, I do a little bit of revision on my bed fully sure I won't fall asleep. Now it was time to join the class, I joined first with my laptop to show you guys and later with my phone for comfort. I did well in class, at least thank god I was asked just the things I had read before the class. After this successful class, I needed a reward for my brain and so I head over to my friend's place for a little bit of FIFA 21. I got defeated time after time and almost gave up on my career of becoming the best FIFA player in my hostel. 
After hours of playing game, I still can't find the best way to restrict my FIFA playing to a little portion of my whole day. By now, it's already getting to 6pm and I had the part-time YouTuber Academy course created by Ali Abda and his team coming up by 7pm, I decided to walk out and have my bath just before then. My workout routine used to be less demanding, but my roommate woke up one day and decided that we do a 100 push-up challenge and so every day we do 100 push-ups, 3 rounds of 10 squats, 10 lunges, calf exercise and finally ab wheel roller. After the workout, I went to have my bath and I got ready for the course. After the class and being inspired by Ali to take my channel to the next level, I begged Evelyn to let's just go out this evening so my viewers don't insult me in the comment section for not going out at all throughout the day. After successfully convincing her, I went over to dress myself up as if I was heading to mass. The weather recently has not really been favorable to warm-blooded animals like me. As we left the hostel, I went over to get my sorry, my legs and started the walk. Well, you can already smell the season in air as there is now a very big Christmas tree just by the bus stop. We got some snacks and drinks, paid of course and as we were leaving the shop, I met this cute dog. Trust me, I've never bent down to really play with a dog in Russia before, but I couldn't resist this one and I had to feed it one of my snacks, hoping the owner wouldn't think I was doing something bad. Having touched the dog, I couldn't return my hands into the pocket and I longed for a shove with the toilet so I can wash my hands and take them off the cold. To my biggest surprise, this coffee shop had the password to their toilet printed on their receipt, so you can only access it after purchasing something. After cleaning up, I got a plate of my favorite cake and we started talking. As you can see from here, I was probably being roasted or corrected for doing something wrong. After that, we talked a bit about my channel, her blog Viva Saver. If you've not heard, Evelyn has a blog Viva Saver where she weekly uploads stuff about motivation, personal development and medicine. Trust me, it's one of the best blogs for students. You can head over there through a link I'll leave in the description box. Do well to check it out weekly for new posts every single Sunday. After the nice walk, I got home, took off my space clothing and tried motivating myself to do at least one hour of space repetition for some of the things I've studied in the past. To motivate myself, I got some of the pizza I made with Angelique, my senior who I also called my mom over here in Rostov. And with a bottle of water, I was on for a little studying. I did a space repetition of histology of the circulatory system I studied some weeks ago. Because I study using active recall, I write questions down in my notion page using the toggle effect. And so I try to answer these questions and grade myself based on my level of remembrance. After this one hour that seemed like a year, I went once again to Evelyn's room just to chat and read a fiction book I'm trying so hard not to spoil to you because it's probably one of the best fiction books I've read and it's by Dean Koontz. You can comment below if you've read any of his books before. At around 12, I came back to my room and checked my journal and saw that I had done everything on my checklist for that day. This particular day of the week is my best day throughout. I read a little bit of the novel once more and then fell asleep. So that's it guys, this was my first day in the live vlog. If you're new here, please subscribe and you can watch some of my other vlogs, which I'll link on the screen here as soon as they're out. You can check my other videos about productivity or how to study effectively, which will also be in the description box. Please give this video a thumbs up and if you have got to the end of this video, please leave a sweet comment for me below. And so that's it, on to the next one, catch you guys very soon, bye.